welcome back to Alistair's Merchant Navy How To series. In this short video I'll be explaining the parallel sailing calculations. A parallel sailing is a method of calculating distance travelled or final position when a vessel sails along any parallel of latitude. That is when a vessel is steering a course of 090 or 270 degrees and where there is no change in latitude, only longitude. The mathematical formula that parallel sailings are based around is cost latitude is equal to departure divided by d long. The term departure is used to refer to the distance. This formula can be transposed to allow us to calculate the distance travelled or to calculate a change in longitude to find a final position. So let's do the calculation to find distance we have sailed. We're on board a vessel and we departed from a position 40 degrees north and 090 degrees west and have arrived at a position 40 degrees north, 020 degrees west. But how far have we travelled? We can see that our latitude remains the same, 40 degrees, but our longitude has changed from 090 degrees to 020 degrees west. As such, we can use the parallel sailing method to find our distance travelled. Step 1 is to work out our difference in longitude, or d long, which in this case is 70 degrees. The direction isn't particularly relevant in our calculation, but hopefully you can see we travelled on a course of 090, or due east, so we can name our d long as 70 degrees east. Step 2 is to convert our d long to minutes. We do this by simply multiplying by 60, which gives us a d long of 4200 minutes. Step 3 is to use our departure formula, which says that departure, or distance, is equal to difference in longitude multiplied by cost latitude, which, when we plug in our numbers, gives us a distance travelled of 3217.39 nautical miles. The second type of question you may come across is to calculate a final position, or starting position, based upon sailing a course for a given distance. In our example, we are on a vessel which has departed 40 degrees north, 0 to 0 degrees east, and has been travelling for 12 hours at a speed of 18 knots, sailing a course of 270 degrees. We know that 270 degrees is due west, so again this is a prime example of where we can use the parallel sailing method to solve the problem. Step 1 is to work out our distance travelled. Basic mathematics tells us that distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Therefore our distance travelled is equal to 18 knots multiplied by 12 hours, giving us a distance travelled of 216 nautical miles. Step 2 is to work out the difference in longitude, which is equal to the departure divided by cost latitude. Therefore difference in longitude is 216 divided by cost 40 degrees, which gives us 281.97 minutes. Step 3 is to take our start position and apply our difference in longitude to it. 281.97 minutes is equal to 4 degrees 41.9 minutes when we convert it to degrees in minutes. We know that we were sailing a course of 270 which is west, so our difference in longitude is also west. As we have started in a position of 20 degrees east and travelled west, we need to subtract our difference in longitude, which gives us our final position of 40 degrees 00.0 minutes north and 015 degrees 18.1 minutes east. This has been a quick introduction to the parallel sailing method which I hope you found helpful. If you did don't forget to click the like button and to be notified when I post the next video in my Merchant Navy How To series don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, safe sailing!